Hello Kido, Sir E is here and for this video, we will have the second part of the electric motor lesson focusing on the motor effect. <laughs> Let's have a short review or recall. In the previous video, we talked about the three cases of magnetic field patterns. And these are around the straight wire, around the flat coil, and in a solenoid. So the question here is, how can we increase their magnetic field strength? Kung naaalala ninyo, natutunan natin na kapag may dumadaloy na kuryente sa isang conductor, ito ay nakakaproduce din ng magnetic field. So, paano natin mapapalakas ang magnetic field na ito? For a straight wire, we can increase the current. So, the higher the current, the stronger is the magnetic field. How about for a flat coil? We can also increase the current. And at the same time, we can increase the number of turns of the coil. And lastly, for the solenoid, we can increase the current, increase the number of turns of the coil, and we can also put or place a soft iron coil within it. And through this method, we can have stronger magnetic field. Tatandaan natin that these concepts will be applied in our main lesson, which is the electric motor. This time, let us describe the force on a current carrying conductor. So let's have this set up. These pink arrows represent the flow of current. Then we have here a magnet. North is placed downward and south on the top. Then we have here a current carrying conductor. Now, when the current flows in the direction of A, B, C, D, the wire swings outward or away from the magnet. Oh, bakit gumalaw ang wire na to palayo sa magnet? When the current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, which is the magnet, the conductor experiences a force. Tatandaan natin na kapag may kuryenteng dumadaloy sa conductor na yon, meron siyang magnetic field. At the same time, nilagay mo siya sa magnet na meron ding magnetic field. At ito ay nagkukos ng force. And that is the reason kung bakit nag-move yung wire palayo sa magnet. And this is what we call the motor effect. Ang motor effect ay produkto ng interaction ng dalawang magnetic field. Magnetic field ng current carrying conductor at ang magnetic field ng isang strong magnet. Which again, consequently, ay nagpuproduce ng force. But what if we change the flow of current? So instead, it flows from D, C, B to A. So, ginawa nating opposite. This time, what will happen is that the wire will swing inward. E paano naman kung katulad ng unang instance na ang movement ng current ay from A to D, Pero, babalik ta rin naman natin ang magnetic field ng strong magnet. So, ibig sabihin, 
ang south ay mapupunta sa baba at ang north ay mapupunta sa taas. So, ang result ay magmumove pa rin ng inward ang wire. So, what's the point in here? The direction of the force on a current carrying conductor is reversed when we reverse the direction of any of this, the current or magnetic field. Pag pinalitan natin ang direction ng current, magbabago ang direction ng force. Pag pinalitan natin ang direction ng magnetic field, ganun din, magbabago din ang direction ng force. Tatandaan ang konseptong ito. For this scenario, the force, current, and magnetic field are at right angles to one another. Ayan ang tatandaan natin. At ang pinakamalaking challenge sa atin ay ma-determine kung saan ang direction ng force. Ito nga ba ay move away or inward? Upward o downward? At para malaman natin ang direction ng force, we have to use this technique. And this is called Fleming's left-hand rule. So the primary purpose of this is to deduce the direction of the force acting on a current current conductor in a magnetic field. Paano nga ba gamitin at i-analyze ang Fleming's left-hand rule? So itaas ang kaliwang kamay at kunin ang unang tatlong daliri. The thumb, the forefinger, and the middle finger. And these three fingers will signify or represent a certain aspect in this lesson. So ang thumb ay ang representation ng ating force, direction of force. Okay? Then ang ating forefinger or pointing finger ay para sa field or magnetic field. Then ang ating middle finger ay para naman sa direction ng current. Ulit, thumb force, forefinger or pointing finger ay magnetic field, then the middle finger is for current. And with this, we can find out or determine the direction of the force. Let us apply the concept of Fleming's left-hand rule in this drill. So we have this set up. So we have a battery with wire, then a switch, then a magnet. So our conductor here or the current current conductor is the red wire, which is placed here in the magnet. So tingnan natin ngayon kung ano yung magiging direction ng force. So, what will happen to the wire when the switch is closed? So, let's apply now the Fleming's left-hand rule. So, first, we will use our forefinger. Again, ang ating forefinger represents the field. Forefinger, so field or magnetic field. So, tatandaan natin na ang magnetic field ng magnet ay parating from north to south. Again, it is from north to south. So, kung tinitingnan ninyo itong illustration na to, you will point your forefinger from north to south direction. So, ganito yung magiging itsura niya. Pwede nyo rin gawin para ma-visualize nyo kung paano siya ina-apply or paano ginagamit ang Fleming's Rule. Second step ay alamin ang direction ng current. So the direction of the current in here is outward or towards you. Okay? So away from the plane. So, it's going onto you. Towards you. Pointing towards you. Sir, bakit po 
pointing towards you yung direction ng finger. Tatandaan natin na kapag nagdi-deal tayo with the current, we are using the conventional current. So pag sinabing conventional current, the electricity or the charges are moving from the positive to negative. So kung nakita ninyo, papalabas. So from positive to negative. So lalabas. That's why it is towards you. And therefore, the direction of force will look like this. So it is upward. So what will happen to the wire? It will float on the air. Because constantly it will be pushed by the force. So let's have the second question. The switch is open and the magnetic poles of the magnet are reversed. Again, the magnetic poles of the magnet are reversed. By rotating the magnet 180 degrees. What will happen to the wire when the switch is closed again? So originally, this is the position of our hand. Left hand. Okay. So this time, sabi ay, tinurn natin or reverse natin ang direction ng magnetic pole. So si south ay napunta sa kaliwa. At si North ay napunta sa kanan. Again, our forefinger represents the magnetic field. So, we need to twist it at babalik na rin natin. So, it's now again from North to South. Kung nakikita ninyo, yung finger ay still towards me or towards you. Okay? So therefore, the force now is pointing downward. So ano mangyayari sa wire? Ito ay pupunta sa ilalim or magsettle dito sa ilalim. Because the force will pull it downward. To explain the motor effect, consider the magnetic field of a current carrying wire combined with that of a magnet. So it's like this. So this is the magnetic field due to the current in a wire. Then this is the magnetic field formed by a magnet. Kung titingnan ninyo, ang direction ay from north to south. Laging ganon. And the result will be like this. So parang meron tayong dalawang magnetic field na nag-i-interact sa isa't isa. At dahil sa interaction nila, magkakaroon ng force. At itong force na to ang reason kung bakit gagalaw ang wire. And this movement is what we call the motor effect. Consider the following pair of parallel current carrying wires. In this example, we have opposite direction for Current. So this one is outward towards you. Then the X represents inward or away from you. And the result will be like this. Combined magnetic field gives rise to forces being exerted on the wire. So anong mangyayari sa wire? Conductors carrying current in opposite direction will repel each other. So anong mangyayari? Yung dalawang conductors natin ay magmove away. So tatandaan natin, pag opposite ang direction nila, they will repel each other. So they will move away from each other. How about this one? So we have the same direction of current. So both of these are inward or into the plane or away from you. Okay? So the result will be like this. So the conductors 
recurring currents in the same direction will attract each other. So they will move towards each other. Para maunawaan natin, let's answer this example. A strip of aluminum foil is hung over a wooden rod. A large current is momentarily passed through the aluminum foil in the direction x, y. So ganito natin siya titingnan. Pag dumaloy na yung kuryente dito sa direction na to, x, y, ano kayang mangyayari sa ating aluminum foil? To discuss the answer, let us proceed to the next slide. The aluminum foil strip on the opposite side repel each other. So, bakit kaya? Let's use this diagram. So, kung titingnan natin yung X side ng ating aluminum foil, yung magnetic field na nabuo doon or na form I, it's moving counterclockwise. While for the Y side, it is moving clockwise. That's why with that, we have opposite direction of magnetic field. And again, if they are opposite, they will repel each other. So what will happen is that the aluminum foil will move away from each other. So it will fold away from each other. These are the references used. And that's it. We are done discussing the motor effect. Watch the third part of this series on the lesson about electric motor. See you again in my next speech blog. Bye-bye. God bless. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>